It was the biggest ever Republican funeral, with thousands of Bobby Sands supporters from all over Ireland arriving by the coachload. After requiem mass at Twinbrook, the coffin was passed into the care of the IRA. Six masked IRA men flanked the coffin, which carried a tricolor and Bobby Sands' provisional emblems, a black beret and black gloves. An army helicopter flew noisily overhead. Right behind the coffin came Sand's seven-year-old son, Gerard, who was brought from England two days ago. Gerard's mother, who was separated from her husband five years ago, was not there. Crowds six deep in places lined the three-mile route from Twinbrook to Milltown Cemetery. The funeral procession was diverted around a small Protestant enclave on the way, as security forces kept a discreet watch from behind the screens. The biggest crowds were waiting in the rain at Andersonstown by the heavily fortified police station right opposite the Milltown Cemetery. It had taken the procession nearly three hours to complete the journey from Twinbrook. It was led into the graveyard by a piper playing a Republican tune. The crowd on the pavement stood in silence as the hearse passed by, followed by hundreds of wreaths carried by grim-faced mourners. Inside, there was the full IRA military-style funeral that had been promised and indeed that Bobby Sands had wished for. Thousands had packed into the Milltown Cemetery, but most of them were able to get a glimpse of the burial. And so Bobby Sands was buried, and Northern Ireland waits to see what happens next. Jeremy Hans, ITN, in Belfast.